What up, Mathletes? Whoop, whoop. All right, let's do this. Uh, today is 11.4 special products, and our learning target is students will multiply. Students will multiply binomials using or by applying special patterns. Students will multiply binomials by applying special patterns. Awesome. Go ahead, write that down, and then do the warm up. Pause this, because I'm going to get rolling right now. Okay, so again, we just distribute, right? It's going to be 4x squared plus 8x. Right here, um, I'm going to do this one using FOIL. So first, x squared, outer, minus 4x, inner, plus 3x, and last, minus 12. Put those together, and I get x squared minus x plus 12. Yes. I'm going to do this one with the generic rectangle, because that's my favorite, right? You know me, you know that. So we got x minus 5, and I'll put it up here, x minus 3. So we get x squared minus 5x, and minus 3x, and then plus 15. So I end up with x squared and 15, right? This diagonal is first and last, so that's plus 15 because it's positive. In the middle, minus 5x minus 3x is going to be minus 8x. Boom. Last but not least, let's go ahead and do another generic rectangle because I want to. This is 2x and 1 and x and 6. So I'm going to have 2x squared, x. 12x and 6, which is going to end up being 2x squared. Got my 6 over here, right? Positive 6. Then x plus 12x is plus 13x. Yes. Awesome. So we're going to move right on. We're going to lose, learn some special patterns to make it to where we don't even have to set those up. We can just kind of do them out. Uh, let's get on to that. Let me move stuff kind of where it goes. So, boom right here. Write that down. The key concept is the square of a sum, which basically tells me the square of a plus b is going to equal the square of a plus twice the product of a and b plus the square of a plus b. In other words, a plus b squared, which really means a plus b times a plus b, is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. We see our nice example here, where x plus 3 squared is x plus 3 times x plus 3, which is going to be a squared or x squared plus 2 times a times b, 2 times x times 3 is 6x, plus b squared, which is 3 squared, or 9. Boom. Pause this, write it down. We're going to go on to some examples next. So, examples. What does this tell me? Remember, 5n plus 9 squared is going to be, if this is my a and this is my b, it's going to be a squared, which is 5n squared, plus 2 times my a times my b, plus b squared, which 5n squared is just 5 times 5 is 25, and then n squared. This is going to be 2 times 5 is 10, and I can reorder it. 10 times 9 is 90, so plus 90n, and then last plus 81. We go that's done it says to look and sketch the diagram so let's go ahead and do that and really it's just going to be this picture you're going to sketch the picture frame on this problem because what does it say an eight by inch photo frame is placed in a square frame that is x inches wide Write a trinomial that represents the total area of the photo and its frame. So part A wants us to write the expression that represents the side, one side. Well, if you think about it, I don't know where I put all my drawing stuff, but there we go. If you think about it, if the length is x, then we have a width of x right here and a width of x right here. What is x plus x? That equals 2x. By the way, if I didn't tell you to, make sure you just draw the outline of this frame, kind of the inside outline, and label it like 8x and x, right? 
like it's there. And then we can continue with this. But since we know this width, this x with this x is 2x, plus we got to add 8, right? So we got to add 8 to get the total thing. So write the expression that represents the length of one side. It's going to be 2x plus 8. Boom. All right? Well, let's put that in. 2x plus 8. Check it. Check it. Yay, we did it. We got the sound. The area of the square is given by the equation a equals s squared. So we're going to square it. So we're going to have 2x plus 8 squared, right? So if that's true, we know it's going to be, if this is my a, again, and this is my b, it's going to be that quantity plus 2 times my a value which is 2x times my b value of 8 and we're going to add to that 8 squared so what is that that's going to be 4x squared 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 8 is 32 so plus 32x And then plus 64. Do we see that option over there? Uh, let's see, 4x squared plus 32x plus 64 is option D. So let's go ahead. Pause this if you need to to write that down, but I'm going, going, gone. Let's check it. Boom, there it is. We're going to move on to our next square of a difference. Again, we're not going to take long on this. I'm just going to say, hey, the square of a minus b is very similar. The only difference is instead of a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, it's a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. But pause this, write down the examples, and then we're going to go back to our regularly scheduled program, going, going, gone. So using that, what do we got here? And I'm going to change this to 3 because that was literally the example in your warm-up. So x minus 3 squared, again, is just, if that's a and that's b, it's going to be x squared minus, right? That's the difference, 2 times x times 3 times our b, and then plus our b squared, which is 3 squared. So that's just x squared minus 6x, because 2 times 3 is 6, plus 9. Boom. That's it. And now our last one called a difference in squares. Let me pop that up real quick. Again, I'm just going to leave it on for a few seconds, so as soon as it comes on, just pause this after I talk through it. So the product of a plus b and a minus b is the square of a minus the square b. So in other words, if you're ever with a plus b, a minus b, at the end of the day, it just equals a squared minus b squared because the middle term will cancel out. We see that in the example here with negative 6x plus 6x, boom, they cancel out. And that happens all the time. So again, pause this. We're heading back to our regularly scheduled program. I want you to see this. So again, if this is A and this is B, when we multiply this out, this is just going to equal 3G squared minus 1 squared, which is what? 9G squared minus 1. Boom. That easy. All right. Use these special products to help you do that. Peace out.